if, if you don't need any more evidence that we need to look after our infrastructure, it's right there in the national news. Yeah, and, and that's why I've been pushing the issue um, very diligently, I think, for some time. And I think we are starting to make some progress on the, the legislative side about having more discussions, everyone agreeing that we need to do something. Now the question is what? Um, and I hope that's still something we'll get done um, by the fall of this um, year. Because, again, if, once you get to election year, it gets pretty tough to get those kind of activities done. Did you anticipate that the, I mean, the, the road issue has been around more than a decade. Yeah. I mean, did you anticipate it would be this difficult? Oh, yeah. When you look at it, as you said, Michael Patrick, it goes back to 97, the last time something was done. And you got to go a long time before that to see when something's done. So this is one of the tough issues out there. Um, but the, I just stick to my philosophy, real honest, positive action. You just keep on plugging away. It took a couple of years to get a bridge project going. Yeah. Well, here's what I imagine, though. I imagine you in your office saying, oh, state of the state's coming up. I think it's time to fix the roads. And some of your advisors saying, Governor, man, you've you got a reelect coming. You don't want to get involved in that right now. And you say? Well, I do the right thing. And again, I've, I've got great advisors. I've got a great team of people. This is the best team of people I've ever worked with. Um, but as a practical matter, I didn't get hired to do the politically correct thing. I got hired to do the right thing for the citizens, the customers that I have in Michigan. I was talking with Mark very well a few minutes ago, in fact, in the chair that you're sitting in, and then last night at dinner, and he was, he was talking about how proud he is of you and uh, how excited he is about your reelect if you decide to run. And, uh, and he said, look, at, if nothing else, we are now a right-to-work state. My question to you would be, is that something that you will point to as one of your accomplishments in your reelect? Well, again, you, I'm responsible for the actions that I take, so it would be one of the accomplishments because I think it was about standing up for Michigan's hard workers, hardworking people because um, it's about worker choice and it will bring more jobs to Michigan. Am I going to overemphasize it? No, because I don't think it's one thing that's going to fundamentally change the whole state, but it's part of this whole equation of really making us a competitive, exciting place to be for job creators. Because that's the issue is we need more and better jobs and we need a great place for our children to grow up and that's part of the, the foundation that's being built for the long term. How proud you must be with the Great Lakes governors coming up uh, here. I mean, yeah. if you're going to show off Michigan, this is a mighty nice place to do it. It's an awesome place to do it, and, and it's, I think it's time. It's been since 2005 that the Great Lakes governors have really gotten together. And what better place to do it to talk about the Great Lakes and see how important the Great Lakes are to all of us. So I'm looking forward to that. What do you want them going away saying? Um, I, it's really an opportunity not to find the, the biggest differences, but let's find some common ground, and I think we're coming up with some good ideas about here's a number of initiatives that we can all work together, the governors and the, the premiers, to say let's do more to protect, enhance, and sustain the Great Lakes.